What's up guys, it's Rob. Hope you're doing good. I'm definitely doing good. It's Friday, the sun is out, summer is on its way, and I'm really excited. But enough about the weather. Today, I wanna check out this. This is a Rocktech CHR01 chorus pedal. And in all honesty, I don't know a lot about it. All I know is that my dad gave me this pedal years ago. I can't even remember how long ago it was. He actually gave me an old distortion pedal and this pedal at the same time. The distortion pedal has never worked. So I think I might have gotten rid of that one, but this is the chorus pedal he gave me. Used to have a little bit of plastic there, a little plastic covering for the battery there, which has also long gone, which I think was blue and just said the word chorus on it. But other than that, this is what I got given. And in honesty, I've never really used it much. I have the box as well, which looks like this, which has definitely seen better days. There's nothing inside it. I didn't get any leaflets or anything like that. No information. It's a little bit of a mess, but it's still good that I have the box with it as well. So yeah, the Rocktech CHR01 chorus pedal. Here it is. I've been doing a little bit of research on this pedal just to try and find out more information about like maybe when it was made. And in all honesty, it's so hard to find information about this. So I've done a little bit of digging. I've even posted on a guitar group on Facebook to see if anybody else has got any more answers for me. And the only thing I've really discovered is that Rocktech pedals are kind of like an entry level cheap version of like the Boss pedals from the 1980s. So this pedal is probably around 30 years old. And the only clue that I've got from the back of the pedal or the box of anything to do with its construction is the fact that it says it's made in Taiwan. And that's literally it, that's all I know about it. And quite a lot of people said that the Rocktech pedals weren't very good in terms of build quality. They worked quite well and they sounded okay, but build quality was a little bit flimsy. So I kind of see what they mean because it feels a little bit plasticky as opposed to some of the pedals today, like the Boss stuff, which is quite firm, quite sturdy. You can really put a lot of weight on it and it's not really gonna break. This feels like it might break if you step on it too hard. But having said that, it's lasted 30 years. Fair enough, it's been in a box in a cupboard for 30 years, but it's still here. So I'll put the box down and just show you the pedal in general. Really simple to get. It's just three switches on the front, battery there, power adapter input on the top and main pressy switch to turn it on and off little LED to tell you that it's on. The switches that we get on the top are the usual stuff. We've got a tone, a depth, and a rate. The tone is how well you can hear the chorus. It's kind of like the tone on a guitar knob. If you turn it down, the sound's gonna go quite muffled. If you turn it up, it's gonna make it a little bit more easier to hear. So that's what the tone one does. The depth is how wide it pulls the sound and the signal of your guitar. And the rate is how fast. Because if you don't know what a chorus pedal does, it basically takes the signal of your guitar, and rather than just having a straight line like that of signal or sound kind of makes it wobble a bit like a tremolo sort of effect so if you had the depth switch all the way up you're gonna have a really wide sort of pulling your note up and down sort of effect as opposed to if you have it completely off then you know it's going to be more smooth and obviously the rate is how fast that is going up and down so if you have it fully up you can have a very sort of boingy spring sounding sort of weird noise which i'll demonstrate soon and if you have it turned right down then it's going to go up and down very very slowly so yeah here's the rocktech chr01 chorus pedal so how does it sound well that's what we're going to look at today so i'm going to plug it in and show you how it sounds on both a clean tone and a bit of a gain tone i don't normally think that chorus sounds amazing with gain if i'm being fully honest unless it's very very minimal if you have a nice gain tone and you're playing some big power chords if you have a chorus pedal with the depth turned up a little bit and it's not that noticeable, it might make your power chords sound a little bit wider. I know that guitarist like John Petrucci in Dream Theater uses a chorus slightly on some of his gain tones. He's the only guitarist in that band, so that might just widen his guitar tone a little bit whilst he's playing on stage at Dream Theater. So maybe he uses the chorus pedal to thicken up his tone a little bit. But I personally think a chorus pedal sounds better on a clean tone. So I'm gonna play about with it on both of those settings and show you how it sounds. So let's take a look at it. So there we go, for this test, I'm gonna be using my Gibson SG. Hopefully the light from the window won't distract too much. Maybe I'll lean forward a little bit more so you can't just see the window reflection in the guitar. It's a very shiny guitar. But anyway, other than that, we're looking at the pedal today. So I've got it plugged in at the moment on a nice clean tone. So I'll flick between the different pickup settings as well uh, to show you how the chorus pedal sounds on the different pickups. But for now, I'm in the mid position on my guitar using both pickups. And this is the sort of tone that I've got. I've got a normal clean tone, but I've put a bit of reverb on it. Quite a lot of reverb actually, because I think it sounds cool with this. But at the moment, the chorus pedal is plugged in, but turned off. So this is how it sounds. So if I play about, you can hear how the guitar sounds in general. Sounds quite cool to me, sounds really nice. I'll put the chorus pedal on now. So for the most part, at the moment, all of the switches on the chorus pedal are set to right at the bottom, basically. I've not got anything on at the moment, so going from this sound here, 
And now I'll just turn the pedal on, but all the switches are set to zero. So immediately you can't really tell much difference between those, even though the pedal is on, you're not really hearing much chorus at all because everything is set to zero. But what if I put everything at 12 o'clock? So I'll do that now. I'll put the tone, the depth, and the rate all the way up to 12 o'clock. So straight away you can tell the difference there. You can hear everything nice and clear. So as I said about the depth, you can hear that if I play the chord again, you can hear the note going up and down like that. And you can also hear the speed as well. And that's with everything at 12 o'clock. So why don't I just start with the tone, which is the first switch we get to. So I'll turn that fully up now and we'll see how the chorus pedal sounds overall with the tone of the chorus pedal turned fully up. So not much has changed between that, it's just made the overall chorus tone stand out a little bit more in the mix. As I said, I'm on my mid position at the moment. What if I flick down to the bridge, see how that sounds? And then flick up to the neck and play about with the same sort of thing. I think it sounds better in the mid position, so I'm gonna stay there for the time being, but I'm just showing you how it sounds on the different ones. So I think I'm gonna tweak it a little bit now. I'm gonna turn the depth all the way down, but I'm gonna keep the rate at 12 o'clock. <laughs> For me, that sounds far better. With the depth fully up, it's really pulling your notes up and down, which can make it sound quite out of tune. Some people want that effect. They want the sort of out of tune sort of sound. Kind of reminds me of Soundgarden's Black Hole Sun. I don't know how to play that on the guitar, but that sort of effect in the beginning of that, it's meant to sound a little bit eerie. And that's a really great way of getting that eerie sort of guitar tone is if you have the depth and maybe the rate as well turned fully up. The depth is right down. and the, So it's going quite quick with the rate being on 12 o'clock but it's not very going very far because the depth is turned right down and I think that sounds pretty damn good to me. So what if I turned the depth up again, but this time around, I'm gonna turn it fully up and see how that sounds. So this might sound a little bit crazy because now my signal is gonna be going quite a lot like that as opposed to just a little bit up and down. Now it's gonna be going crazy like that, but the speed is still at 12 o'clock. <laughs> See what I mean? That's now sounding a lot more out of tune and kind of strange. It's not a guitar tone that I'd want to use in any of my songs or on stage or anything like that. But again, it's a tone, it's a function, it's something I can do if I want to, I know I can do that. So that's so far with the tone fully up, the depth fully up and the rate at 12 o'clock. So now I'm going to put the rate all the way up as well. So everything will be on full and this is going to sound mental. <laughs> Don't like that. <laughs> that sounds too strange to me. Again, like I said, it's cool to know that I can do that if I want to, but that sounds way too odd. Earlier on, I had the depth fully down and the rate turned up. So what if I had the rate turned down, but the depth full up? So I'm gonna put the depth at 12 o'clock. I'm gonna turn the rate down and show you how that sounds. <laughs> I think that's one of the best settings so far, to be honest. So just messing about with this chorus pedal, it's quite fun. It's giving me a lot of different tonal options. 
And I think it sounds pretty good. Like I said, it's a pedal that's been around since the 80s. And even if it's got quite a flimsy build, it's still working, which is a great thing. And tonally, I don't think it sounds bad at all. It's even good to get a little bit of a tone that sounds kind of like a band from Seattle in the 90s. Not gonna play the actual riff because of copyright. This video will probably get flagged if I play the actual riff, but if I play something similar to it, you can kind of get the gist of what I'm talking about. So as you can hear, that sounds pretty familiar. Hopefully that won't breach copyright and I'll get in trouble for that. So anyway, that's the chorus pedal on a clean tone. I flicked through the pickups and I flicked through the settings on the pedal, but what about a nice little bit of a gain tone? How does it sound on gain? So let's have a look at that now. So now I've got a bit of a gain tone going. The pedal is off for the moment. So this is how the guitar sounds normally with a little bit of gain. You get the idea, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the pedal on again. But at the moment, all the settings, like on the clean tone, all the settings are set to zero, even though the pedal is on. And then let's, let's see if that sounds any different now. A little bit. By the way, I'm on the bridge pickup at the moment. I think the clean tone sounds better on the mid position. So I'll just show you what the different pickups sound like now with the pedal just about on. That's the bridge pickup, mid position. Actually, it doesn't sound too bad. And the neck position. So once again, I'm going to start by turning the tone switch fully up on the pedal. So this is going to be the depth and the rate fully down, but the tone fully up. So how does that sound now? Back to the bridge pickup. can't really tell that much because the depth and the rate are fully down. So why don't I just put everything back to 12 o'clock like I did earlier. So here we are still on the bridge pickup. Everything's now at 12 o'clock on the pedal. Definitely giving it that sort of out of tune sort of sound because of the depth and rate. So now I'm gonna turn the depth down and keep the rate. Actually, I'll turn the tone fully up as well because I really wanna be able to hear how that sounds. So the tone is fully up and now I'm going to leave the rate where it is, but I'm gonna turn the depth down. <laughs> Now it doesn't sound out of tune, it sounds quite cool to be honest. As I said with the distortion on the chorus, it kind of makes the tone sound a little bit wider. So it's definitely got that sort of dream theatre sort of sound, the John Petrucci sound that I was talking about earlier. Cool. So what if I swap the depth and rate? So I'll turn the rate down and the depth up. Sounds strange. Not a fan of that really, but there you go, that's what it is. And again, it's just about playing about with it and showing you how all of these different settings sound. Obviously the slightest tweak of either of them will really change the overall sound that you're hearing. And it really depends whether you're playing clean or distorted like I am now. And lastly, I'm gonna play about with the rate at 12 o'clock. The tone is fully up still and the depth, I've turned that to about quarter to on the, on the dial. <laughs> Thank you. 
there you go, that's the Rocktech CHR01 chorus pedal. A kind of cheap entry level chorus pedal from the 80s apparently. If anybody's got any more information about the Rocktech pedals then I'd love to hear anything about it because it was really hard finding anything. All I could find was people selling them on Reverb or eBay um, and the descriptions are quite vague. Wasn't really any specific dates. I'd love to know exactly when this pedal is from because that'd be kind of cool, but I've not been able to find that out. So if anybody knows, please let me know, comment below. Also, it'd be cool to know if anybody else has got one of these, so it's not just me, I'm not the only one in the world who's trying one of these out. Quite a few people who said that they had the Rocktech pedals on the Facebook group I asked earlier said that they were probably around about 20 quid, 25 quid in the 80s or 90s when they got them, so I don't know what this would be worth now. I even saw one on Reverb, I think it was Reverb, for about 85 pounds or something like that. So it's quite expensive, but I don't think this is worth 85 pounds if I'm being fully honest, because I'm pretty sure you can get a more up-to-date one built a bit better, a bit more sturdy and a bit more reliable. But having said that, this one works perfectly fine. Maybe not on a, I don't think the battery thing works. So that's why I had it plugged into my mains power supply. But having said that, I'm just missing the top bit there, but it does work well, it works fine. I haven't broke it. Probably not gonna use this live, but maybe I will at some point. Cause I think a little bit of chorus really does make the difference between a normal boring clean tone and it just gives it a clean tone, a little bit of depth obviously literally with the switch on there. But in general, a bit more depth, a bit more tone, a bit more sparkle is the word I'm looking for. Like I said, not a massive fan of chorus mixed with gain. If it's done correctly, maybe just a little touch of it, you can get some pretty cool tones. Again, the only guitar player that comes to mind for that sort of thing is John Petrucci on a lot of Dream Theater records. But other than that, I'd stick to clean tones. Um, but yeah, quite impressed with it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you liked it or whether you didn't or whether you hate chorus in general, who knows. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little video demonstration. If you did, then please click up here to see another video over here to subscribe to my channel and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.